Hey guys, it's Mike Joseph here uh, with Visual Media Marketing, number one advertising agency for barbershops. I have my very good friend here, Mari. Um, she's actually an expert in the financial industry. Um, her and her team have over 160 years of experience in this field. And I think is at this time, it's very crucial that I, I got her on a call, kind of answer some of the questions that we're all thinking right now, what we should be doing, what resources we should be pulling um, to help us get through this time. So uh, without further ado, Mari, uh, could you just introduce yourself? Hey guys, um, yeah, this is Mari, friends with Mike. And yeah, we run a financial planning practice. Um, we help our clients at any stage in life, whether it's just start paying off debt, planning for big goals, um, retirement, or just trying to protect yourself on crazy times like the COVID times right now. Yeah, the COVID times. I think that's what we should just call it, the COVID I know. times. Yeah. Crazy times. Um, so uh, just, just so we can kind of like dive really into this, a lot of shops, a lot of shop owners are, are definitely scared and they have every right to be. Um, mm -hmm. but I think especially during this time where a lot of us can't operate, you know, a lot of shops aren't open right now, just take this time to really dive into what we can be doing to, to make ourselves better so we can position ourselves for success. So I guess one question that everyone's asking is now that everyone's shut down, what, what should people be doing or where can we find resources to kind of help us get over this, 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 this financial pause pretty much? Right. And Mike, it's a very common question, um, not only for barbershops, but also for any business owner. Mm -hmm. So um, the federal government, it is putting out there a lot of money available for us to stay strong. Mm -hmm. um, of course, times have changed right now. Everything is different, but there are a lot of resources Mm -hmm. For um, our friends that are barbershop owners, employees, contractors, subcontractors. So a lot of the resources, um, it's pretty easy to find out. You can either go to your state government or the federal government sources online. And if you call SBA, um, you can also go to the Federal Reserve. They have different plans for different uh kinds of businesses per se, or different formats of businesses. And they have a lot of information there. One thing to pay attention to, and whatever we say here today, it's pertinent until right now what's going mm -hmm. on. Um, it's changing every day. So something that could be um, right and true today could be completely different tomorrow mm -hmm. because it's a situation that it's, Never it's ongoing, seen. yeah, it's ongoing. And it's never seen before. So mm -hmm. we, we don't know how to react, um, not only within the health system, but also for the financials of the country itself. Mm -hmm. And it's um, the government, it's doing everything that they can to um, inject money into our pockets pretty much. Mm -hmm. But there are rules and regulations that are gonna stop us from just getting free money from anybody. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, my, my, my next question is like, because there's a lot of loans out there and I guess for the bar, for barbershop owners in general, what, what loan should they really be looking at? Because I've seen PPP and I've seen the, 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 there's a loan forgiveness program. What loans should they be, be looking for? So SBA and PPPs, they are, there are different um, criterias. Mm -hmm. But pretty much for the PPP, it's a paycheck protection plan. Mm -hmm. So it is for um, for small businesses. Okay. And it is mainly this involved, per se, to mm -hmm. protect the payroll. Mm -hmm. So 75% of this money has to be addressed for payroll, whether it is for the owner of the, the shop or if you have W2 employees, also to pay their income. Mm -hmm. um, if you have subcontractors and if you have self-employed people working under you, you can also apply for that as long as it is something that you declare. Mm, perfect. Because as you, as you already know, in, in the barber industry, there, I feel like it falls into a couple of different c categories, right? You have right. shop owners that follow a commission-based model where they're okay. receiving a percentage of revenue generated by the employees. Um, you have the booth rental business model 
where you have about uh, all the barbers that are uh, there are renting a chair and they're paying it to the to the owner where they're not getting any sale, any percentage of sales they're just getting a flat fee from from the barbers and they work as contractors and then you have the individual barbers who are the subcontractors where um they're not w2 employees they're actually self-employed so i guess how does the situation vary between between all of them is it different criteria if you're a commission shop versus booth rental so as far as right now um again if you are self-employed and mm -hmm. you do your taxes as mm -hmm. self-employed that's how you would apply for it okay. so if you are self-employed you are your own small business mm. and you have the right to apply for it again all the regulation is changing every single day as far as right now that's the response that we get so contractors subcontractors um 1099 sole proprietors if you are filing your taxes mm -hmm. that way then yes you can apply mm -hmm. for the ppp um what they are willing to give all those even if you are the president of the company and it's one only employee you have to pay yourself as far as right now, 75% of this money that you are eligible to lend mm -hmm. has to be for payroll. And why they are saying that? Because they are thinking about the aftermath of that, which mm -hmm. it is, okay, you are using that money to keep your business and your employees, mm -hmm. right? So the 25% you can use for utilities, mortgage, rent, the forgiveness that they will give, it will be also based on that information. So, okay, I am a 1099 employee mm -hmm. and I file my taxes in a certain matter that this is my payroll to myself. Mm -hmm. Then what you will get, it is the money based on your payroll. So people, mm -hmm. whenever they are going to apply for the forgiveness, mm -hmm. they will most likely need to show proof of it mm. so it's not just a random method that you can just mm. apply oh as much <laughs> as i can yeah okay um, and if you are a w2 employee then mm -hmm. your um uh, president or owner of the company can apply for that payroll mm -hmm. so let's say that they have a x number of payroll every month mm -hmm. they will apply so let's say per year it's 100 then you have to divide it by 12, so mm -hmm. 12 months, then two point, the, the number that it becomes times 2.5, it's going to be the loan authorized for you. Mm. So you are covering around eight weeks of pay. Okay. But you have to either um, keep them employed, mm -hmm. And if you follow them, you have to be hired. So you mm. can have that expense on your payroll. Yeah, so it sounds like this is all really to, you know, definitely save jobs. So that definitely helps. Right. And okay. it will save not only the shop itself whenever everything hopefully comes back faster, <laughs> but also um, people that are employed, they are not going crazy, you know, like mm. no money coming. 100%. So I guess my, my next thing is, obviously, with what you do, you specialize in creating contingency plans and, and building all these financial plans for a, not just some of our barbershop clients and barbers, but for a lot of other businesses as well. For your clients that, that did have a financial plan in place, um, I mean, this COVID-19 hit us all by surprise. Were they better prepared for this, or was this this pandemic non-discriminatory? Like, did everyone get affected in, in the worst way, or, or were some people better prepared? Absolutely. So um, that's what we are built for. Mm -hmm. Whenever you are talking about building a financial plan, the mm -hmm. main thing that any financial advisor will look into is how safe are you whenever hard times hit. And it could be a personal hard time or it could be a global hard time. <laughs> so that's why we are always focused on what's the con contingency plan that we have in place. 
Are all your risks mitigated already? Are we looking at them with truth? Not because mm -hmm. I am young, I am I don't have any risk, or because mm. I am old, I don't I have more or less. It, it, it's not how we look at it. Mm -hmm. And we work with a very comprehensive plan, not only focusing on the business side, but also on your personal side. Um, one has a impact in the other, just because as, as far as, as if right now, not only your business could be ruined, but also your personal life could. So mm -hmm. how we can um, address those risks in a way that it's okay, whenever it happens, it happens. I'm okay with that because I have a plan, a backup plan for that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. So I, I guess before we, we kind of hop off, um, a lot of people are saying like, okay, this is what happened to us. And now we're working on what we can do to better ourselves. I mean, what kind of tips just in, in finance or in general that you, you would, you would give to some of the barbers or shop owners watching this right now, obviously we know where to find resources, but um, I mean, what kind of financial advice or any knowledge would you, would you be able to share with us today? Yeah. So tip one, is work on your emergency funds. Mm -hmm. I am a big believer that whatever it is that could come your way, it's going to come on the worst times. Mm -hmm. And it's when you are least prepared. Mm -hmm. And if you have something to rely on, mm -hmm. those times are still going to be hard, but they are not going to be crucial for your next day meal. Mm -hmm. So always have that cushion that would let you sleep at night. Mm -hmm. And we usually say three to six months. Mm -hmm. I'd rather six than <laughs> just three. Yeah. And because as far as right now, we were only going to say two weeks. Out of yeah. work. And then it became a month and then it's two months. Mm -hmm. So you never know what, could, what amount of money you actually could need. And this is global. Imagine mm -hmm. if there are, pe there are people there that are going through that and also through personal issues. Yeah. So um, always have emergency funds, not only for your business, mm -hmm. but also for your um, personal um, expenses. Take always great ca care of your credit. Mm -hmm. um, credit lines are something that people are not all the time relying on and mm -hmm. you don't have to like to lend money but mm -hmm. if you have that credit line mm -hmm. available for you in times like now it's mm -hmm. so important because you could literally get declined by your bank on the ppp loan and if you have good credit you can go to other federal um, insured lenders and still be able to get it yeah. but if you have that credit it's something that gets harder. Mm -hmm. you know? So always, always think about that. Always think about all the risks mm -hmm. that um, your life and your health and what it could inflict in your business or in your household. Mm -hmm. um, and they are at the base of any financial plan. Then extra money, investments, um, whatever it is that we can talk about to build a better future. Mm -hmm. It becomes much easier because now you are with a really good foundation. Mm. Nice. All right. No, I, I, Madi, I appreciate you jumping on this call and, and giving us all this information. I, I know a lot of people uh, are definitely going to find a lot of value in this. Um, so I'll be sharing this video on a couple different platforms. Uh, for starters, it's going to be inside of our Facebook group, a private group just for barbers and shop owners called uh, Barbers Hangout. If you're not a part of it, anyone watching this, join it because you'll be able to access content like this first before anyone else at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash barbers hangout. Madi, if anyone wanted to talk to you a little bit closer about creating a financial plan or these contingency plans to, to protect um, yourself and your business, how, how exactly could they reach you? Do, you? do you have an email or something that they could uh, reach out to you? Yes. So my email, it's Mariana, M-A-R-I-A-N-A -A -A dot Martins, M-A-R-T-I-N-S at N as an N-C, M as a Mary dot com. Perfect. So you guys can always email me and um, we'll get right on it. Also for the private groups, 
Um, I'll leave over here my cell phone because if they trust you, Mike, yeah. I can trust them. Mm -hmm. And we can just grab a talk. There is no cost to talk. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. literally um, very exploratory on what your options are. And keep in mind, uh, right now the business, I just want to like tell you guys, mm -hmm. apply for it. Yeah. It doesn't mean you are going to get the loan. It could mean that you get forgiven mm -hmm. after this all passes. And it could also be something that it's life or death for your business or your payroll, your mortgage, your rent. So apply for it. Then know you already have. Because yeah. I don't think you're right. I don't think there's any, like, the worst that could happen is they say no, right? Right. And so, so it's not, it's not going to ruin your credit or it's not going to, um, be like oh it's shocking maybe your yeah. bank it's already maximized mm -hmm. like wells fargo it's not lending anymore but yeah, so people should get us started on this now and then asap yes and that's the thing do it asap and the know mm -hmm. you already have if you stay there not doing anything 100 percent. all right um and again guys if if you're not part of this group uh barbers hangout facebook uh, facebook.com forward slash group forward slash barbers hangout uh, there you'll be able to access not just um, this call, but you'll also be able to access our, our team. We're offering free marketing support for all barbers and shop owners in there by giving free strategies and doing calls like this, finding experts in their field. Because obviously, when it comes to marketing and advertising, I got you. But if we're talking financial planning and creating these contingency plans uh, for your business, I, 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 if I don't have the answer, I'm going to find someone who does. And that's why we got Madi on the call today. Madi, thank you again um, for taking the time out. And, thank you, Mike. Uh, I hope you all stay well and healthy. And we're going to go through this together, guys. 100%. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Again, the group is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Barbers Hangout. I'll see you guys on the inside. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.